Ever since I made my video playing Black Ops 6 with a VPN to see if it really does give you easier lobbies, I had a lot of people commenting and asking if I could do a video on how to use NordVPN as a Call of Duty VPN. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. If you want to go check out that original video to see if a VPN really does give you easier lobbies, I will leave that linked in the description down below. And I will also leave all the links that you need for this video to get the VPN up and running in the description as well. Now, I want to clarify before before we get into the video, this only works if you have an existing NordVPN subscription. If you don't have NordVPN, this video is not really going to help you. But if you want to sign up for NordVPN and you want to support the channel, I will also leave my referral link to NordVPN down below. And one last thing before I get into the actual tutorial, uh, the reason that this is different or a Call of Duty specific VPN is different is because a traditional VPN, it will route all of your traffic to that server. So if you're in America and you click on a European server, then all of your network traffic goes to the European server. So you'll play Call of Duty at like 200 and something ping, which is not what we want. The reason that a specific Call of Duty VPN, like some of the sponsors that you see or the way that we're going to do it in this video, it's different because it only breaks off the Call of Duty matchmaking traffic and it routes that somewhere far away. And so Call of Duty thinks that you're on a server really far away and it struggles to find you a match that far away from your actual location. And so after a certain amount of time, the matchmaking will give up on trying to skill based or engagement optimized matchmake you and it will just throw you into the next available lobby, which is typically close to you. And because all of the matchmaking parameters kind of have to go out the window, it randomizes your experience. So you might get sweaty players, but it's not because the algorithm decided that it's your turn to play them. So it adds a lot more variety and it definitely ups the chance that you're going to get a more mixed lobby, so to speak. Now, if all that sounds good and you're ready to go, grab your coffee, grab your caffeine. And let's go. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to head over to OpenVPN. We need to download the OpenVPN client. So just go ahead and click download, save it. I already have it downloaded and installed, so I'm not gonna do it again, but that's pretty simple, straightforward. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to head over to COD VPN and uh, this gentleman has been nice enough to set up the configs already for us. Also, if you wanna get NordVPN through his referral link, uh, his discount offers right here you can just click it and if you want to support him versus my channel totally fine go for it the next step that we're going to do is we're going to go to this box that says tool choose your country now i recommend going to google and typing in you know nordvpn server locations and picking one that's far away from you i'm in america so i typically always go for something really far away like australia where is it at there it is it will give you all of the server options here you just going to select choose We'll go with Sydney, and then you're gonna scroll down to this purple button that says generate config. Click generate config, and then download the OpenVPN file. Now, once you have that file downloaded, I recommend moving it into a folder that you label Call of Duty VPN configs and put it somewhere that you can easily access it. That way in the future, if you want to download different config files from different countries and you want to do some testing, um, you kind of have them all in the same place and you can go back and forth and it just makes it easier. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we actually have to go in and edit the config file because from the time that these were created by this guy, which, you know, thank you, the parameters or the things that are compatible with the newer versions of the OpenVPN client have changed. Don't worry, we're not going to be coding. We're not going to be programming or anything crazy. We're just going to be deleting five lines. So right click and open with notepad the config file that you have here. And we're just going to be deleting these five lines. Stick with me. This isn't crazy. So the first line you're going to delete is resolve retry infinite. And then we're going to delete tune MTU extra 32. Then we're going to delete both of these persist key and persist tune. And then the last thing that we're going to delete is ping timer REM. Now, once you've got that done, Go ahead and click file and click save because if you don't none of these changes are going to matter and now what we want to do is we want to open up open vpn client right here 
And to do this the easy way, all you're gonna do is double click on this open VPN file that you have, click import, okay. Now the last step that we need to do is we need to head over to NordVPN and get our credentials to uh, actually hook this up. Once you're logged into your NordVPN account, uh, make sure you click on the VPN part. I don't know if uh, you guys will have access to these other things that I do, but make sure you're on NordVPN, scroll down. Now they've actually moved a few of these things from some of the older tutorials and the way that I actually set it up in the past. So if it looks a little bit different because you're watching this in the future, that's okay. Just look for the same things. So you're going to click set up NordVPN manually. And then what you want to look for is service credentials. Now you will get a prompt to verify your email. So just go ahead and click that. It will send you a six digit code for your email. Go ahead and enter it. And then once you're through the verification, you'll just see username and password and just copy and paste those over into the OpenVPN client. Now, I also recommend uh, checking the save password box here, just so that in the future, it's really, really easy for you to toggle on and off your uh, Call of Duty VPN. If you don't toggle save password, what's gonna happen is every time that you turn it off, when you go to turn it back on, it's gonna require that you go back into NordVPN, go ahead and verify your email again, and then you can get access to your password and it saves a whole bunch of time. So I recommend just turning save password on, click connect, we should see it light up here, and then we're good to go. Now, everything should be up and running. You should be good to boot up Call of Duty, Warzone, Black Ops 6, whatever you wanna play, and it should be working. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'm not tech support per se, but I'll do my best to answer any questions that you guys do have. And if you like that video and you wanna watch another one about first person shooter games, cause that's what we do here on this channel, click here.